Good afternoon, everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to create your free Google website. This uh, free single page Google website is now available attached to your Google business page. Uh, we'll run through it now. Just to, this is a early preview edition. When you log in, you may see um, slightly uh, more available functions, and Google will be building onto this uh, as time goes by. So, <laughs> your first step is to log into your Google Business dashboard. I'll provide a link in the comments to, to access your business dashboard. Your Google My Business dashboard is, of course, your dashboard where you manage your uh, Google business listing, the Google map you, for your business. If you haven't um, got one for your business, then I will include the link and you will need to obviously create your Google business listing before you can then go and create your um, website. So <clears throat> assuming you have a Google business listing, you log into your business dashboard and select the property uh, or business that you um, <clears throat> want to create the listing for. In your, obviously this is, you know, make sure you've selected the correct one. And in the menu tab, you will see the new uh, website tab appearing in your dashboard. The website builder automatically extracts, <coughs> excuse me, automatically extracts images from your business page. Uh, it extracts the name. Obviously, you've got your telephone number, your opening hours, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, this is fairly limited. Um, we can run through the uh, different availability to you, but it's a you know it's a very simple single page uh, builder. Uh, this is the starting point uh, for it, and over time, hopefully. Um, Google My Business will build onto this with more functionality and more uh, editorial capabilities. So <clears throat> your first bit is your theme. Uh, your theme uh, generally just changes the slight color and your text. Uh, you can see if we select these, it gives you a different, uh, you know, it gives you, it gives you a different um, options or slightly different. Uh, I think the Plum harvest for this one looks good. Bear in mind, you can always go back and actually change these at a, at a separate stage. Once you've uh, kind of picked the one that you like, <clears throat> you select it, the edit. Now with the edit, we essentially have your headline, a description, summary header, and then your uh, content, your body content. <clears throat> this can be, your body content can be you know, quite substantial, and you can also include links in here. But your headline, uh, obviously, is, uh, for this business is the good bean. We can always expand on that slightly and bringing in sort of a bit of a local SEO um, uh, twist to this. Uh, the ideal thing would be to, um, if this was a uh, a separate website, I would be saying that this is a cafe in the area. If you're a dentist, you would be saying, uh, you know, clean smiles in dentist in your location. So with this one, I'm going to put a little hyphen in there and we'll be Corby is the area it's in and will we this is just um, that's quite large, so I might actually just save that and just see if we have a theme where it may or may not reduce it slightly. Um, probably not, uh, but bear in mind these will look different on different, um, you know, this is mobile optimized, so it would look, um, you know, slightly different if someone was looking on a, on a desktop, obviously it would have larger, if they were looking on an iPad it would probably fit in. Um, completely, but we'll go back to that one for for the minute. Description, 
coffee shop and cafe because that's what it is. Uh, you can see there where I added it, the coffee shop and cafe. cafe. Summary header is you've got a limited amount of functionality, but um, this would kind of be a summary about the sort of uh, who you are or uh, who you are or what you are. Now, bear in mind, you probably need to type it. A good thing is if you, if um, well, we can't do, uh, we can't get that all in. So, right, award-winning coffee shop and cafe. Um, could I get in Corby in there? No, I think we have a text limit. Yes. Um, That's fine. We've got Corby actually within our main title. Uh, what you could do, you know, either or, because this is technically an H1 tag. So there again, we could actually, if you really wanted to, uh, there would be a toss up between having, uh, what we could do is make that look, you know, this is, this is just, because this is limited, we can't actually sculpt the, um, can't really sculpt it too much, and it's just a little question of trial and error. There we go. Summary body. Um, as I said, this where this is where you have a fair bit of leeway in what you can do. You've got quite a bit of text, etc. I've already um, just added this in. Uh, a little text file we can just so we can just copy and paste it uh, and then tidy it up slightly um, if uh, you were creating this and you already had a website. If you're creating this and you already had a website, you could actually interlink. Uh, so for example, if you were linking to your website, your main website already, you can actually link. So you could link it to your main site. This particular business doesn't have a website, so there's no real uh, interlinking. But I'll show you uh, how we can how we can link. Um, and I'm going to link it is because I'm, at the minute there is no um, there is no addition of social uh, social media channels. Um, there's no easy little tab, which I, I will, you know, hopefully we could, hopefully they'll bring those out. But what I will do is we can do a little, so we want to bold that, you know, so that people can follow us on, we'll do a little bold and you can see it bolds as we go along and we will just do. In fact, it will probably be if we do two, some bullet points. Uh, those stayed on behold. Let's take those off. Slightly infuriating that you kind of have to scroll up. It would be quite handy if they created a parallax scrolling, but hey ho, uh, once you've got the URL, pop it in. Select the next one. Um, there we go. These images 
are again extracted from your images or photos that you've already added to your Google business listing, your Google business page. These are extracted from the owner section. One thing I did notice, and just to bear in mind, is the hat. If you change your cover photo over here, it actually adds it to your owner section within your business page. And um, I will just show you, let me just open this one again, and I will just show you where that appears. And the reason I uh, found that out was because I was playing with another one, and all of a sudden, <laughs> my business page, my owner section, was 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 updated with additional uh, photos. Uh, so it takes this cover heading for your cover, but then when I have changed it, it actually imported across through to here. So these are very interconnected. So if you do change your cover photo, bear in mind that it will be adding the images here. Um, and you can come back to the images here and delete the unnecessary ones if you created, you know, a test one, for example, just to see or just to adjust your, your cover image. And then you can just work your way through. So just bear in mind, they are interconnected. And if you do add additional ones, you can go through. Uh, when, you, when you're happy with um, what you've got on here, you can essentially move into the settings tab and then we're going to hit um, publish. At this point, this is where you can create the web address for your business site. Uh, I believe they will be bringing in where you can actually purchase a domain. If, if this was going to be your main site, there will be where you can purchase a domain or if you've already purchased a domain with another supplier, uh, and not necessarily Google domains, then um, there will be the ability to um, obviously use that domain. Um, that's not available at the minute. So essentially, it suggests it suggests um, a URL for you. Uh, it will be on this main dot business dot site uh, overall URL. But, um, and you can, obviously, if you wanted to add that in, or you could say, you know, I think we'll stick with cafe as it's more generic. And if you're happy with that, you're going to hit next. And that is it. It is done. It is as simple as that. <coughs> so uh, let me just check if my screen's following through. So this is the this is the site now. Uh, in the URL, I don't know if you can see the URL in my uh, in the screen share, but essentially it's now the Good Bean Cafe dot business dot site. That is the URL. Um, and that is the website as such. You can obviously expand on this content. You can add slightly different headers. Well, they're not really headers. They're just essentially a bold. Uh, you can't add additional, you can add additional images, but as I said, they get pulled through. Um, and yes, so you can always switch back and you can uh, relook at your site address you can uh, obviously unpublish it um, or you can go back in at any particular time and fine tune, um, you know, fine tune anything that uh, you want to change. So it's very easy to customize, very easy to edit. Ideally, uh, in the long term, you know, keep your eye on it. I'm sure that they will be bringing in additional, uh, additional features to this. But that is the long and short on how to get your free uh, website. Uh, the other, if we just nip through to our actual business page, you'll see that they've added the website now. Because this uh, business page did not have an actual website originally, this when you when you selected publish, it automatically added it to here. If the business or the business page already has its own website, 
and you selected to create the business uh, the um, to create a free uh, website it does provide a little checkbox for you to decide do I want to change my URL of my business listing or and you can uncheck it and what will happen is your single page website will be published but it won't change the original website or your main actual uh, website on there um, that's that's another thing uh, within a business page um, with restaurants for example cafes they ask you to add a menu URL we don't actually have a menu URL on here and hopefully uh, as this develops these little business um, these free single page websites de uh, develop with Google um, there could be you know a whole load of options for them ultimately they could be they could uh, allow you little restaurants to add in um, to add in uh, meals. They could allow booking forms for you know hairdressers. There's you know this has the potential to really expand. So you are pretty much online now. It has all the information. You just got your opening hours, your address. This is all extracted, and a map. It's all extracted directly from, and um, that is it. Enjoy your website.